Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in this uh, Daily Dose of Tarot video we're going to check into the 11th of June 2022, and uh, should any of you be interested in a personal reading with me or you do wish uh, to take my tarot classes, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find full list of my services and as well their pricing. Or rather like you will find a link to my website where you will going to find a list of my services and their pricing. So with that said, uh, let's check on uh, the day itself. And the first card we do have for the day, that is going to be the Six of uh, Swords. Followed by the next one, which stands as the Six of uh, Wands. And the final card for the day, that uh, happens to be the Ten of Wands, okay? So we do have a, these three cards, and that is going to be quite of a dynamic day itself. 12th of June, what can I say? Aside from that, uh, we do have a ballsy day uh, in front of us. In fact, uh, throughout this particular day, uh, we will be confronted primarily through the circumstances uh, to make some, for the lack of a better word, I'm going to use orthodox moves, uh, either into our career or into our love life, although not everybody works on Saturday, given. But with that uh, Six of Swords, being at the prime of the reading itself, it seems that there are going to be some lines that this time around we are going to cross. Now, these lines are not lines of a somebody else. These are our personal lines. Uh, lines I'm sorry. Therefore, a stuff or things that we are to say that we do not do under, I would say, traditional circumstances. So there are going to be thresholds that we are going to step over. And uh, primarily those thresholds kind of revolve or they do relate to, say, situations which are not moving. So in another words, take it that way, guys, that this day is the day where any action is going to be better than no action whatsoever. It's kind of like uh, we have exhausted the orthodox maneuvers things we usually do in those situations and now it seems that the universe itself is going to challenge us to do something different and what do you know it's going to be quite successful for what we can see here with uh, the uh hold on a second with the six of swords and the ten of wands uh, and the six of wands i'm sorry these unorthodox moves um gonna prove themselves to be like i said quite successful and they are going to produce not just only results they're gonna bring us rewards and also a recognition and on top of that uh, these two cards could also speak about peacemakers all right so today could be the day that we are to be recognized the one that glues the team, right? The one that everybody turns into when it comes to a common goal, when it comes to a, not the gender, but a purpose, okay? So just to give you an example, if your family is, is fighting among each other, well, it falls to you to kind of like make peace of the both parties, the three parties, the four parties, regardless how many parties are there. But aside from that, like I said, it's, uh, it's a day where if you're not used to say I love you and you love someone, well, I guess that's your lucky day where you're going to say it. If you're not used to take initiative, but you have to, well, again, today is the day where you're going to do it. Like I said, mind you, is going to produce not just only results, but also is going to bring rewards. But I want to make uh, rather like emphasize on something else as well. Uh, what we all of us uh, should be careful about, and that's uh, these two cards, right? So the Six of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And what these two cards really point to, it is that we should be very careful what promises we give, okay? 
That is because we are going to be held to those promises. And therefore, today should be a day where if we're not certain that we can keep our promise, we should not make a promise at all. And another thing that these cards are pointing is that when we make the stir, say the thing we usually don't say or do the thing we usually don't do, it's a wrong way ahead of us or a wrong or a long road ahead of us that we have to walk on. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be slowed to a crawl at some points. It's going to be demanding. It's going to be uh, overwhelming even at some section of that road. But all of it, we would have would have worked it or all of it is going to worth it. For at the end of this road, an amazing results are waiting for us. So don't uh, freak out if you do have a great idea because it classifies kind of like great crazy idea because it classifies as something you wouldn't do under, uh, under a orthodox circumstances. Don't freak out if you kind of like feel the, 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 the shivs when you see someone and you feel immediately attracted to them. Don't be afraid if you are addressed with uh, a proposition that it's not like you, but you find it very difficult to push away. It's that unorthodox thing that is going to take us one step closer to what we want to accomplish. For a single thought, it's not enough to make us accomplish anything. Actions are needed. And if you are not happy where you are, well, maybe it's time to change the course of the action. So with that said, this is our daily uh, dose of tarot. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, just as much as I did. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.